Hello, during Uno 21, I learned that there are people in other countries that need to do something extra in order to be able to speak English. I also learned that there are teachers looking for solutions to this situation, like me. What can I do with what I learned? I learned what I can do depends a lot on the students' learning habits, uh, learning styles, and study habits. In Mexico, people continue trying to learn English or a language the same way that their teachers did, which is having a teacher in front, using books, and they want the teacher to assume 100% of the responsibility of learning. Discipline is not part of our culture. So, with these characteristics, I think it is difficult that students might choose an app if they want to learn. Okay, about my report. Tool number one, I chose Kahoot. It's a creative way to present information. Even if it is written, and it, the students may learn or may practice how to make questions. Efficacy is high because it's a competition and it involves students. It's a lot of fun. How effective it is? A competition almost guarantees constancy and repetition. So that is very high efficiency. A class activity. A class activity can begin if the students read aloud their presentations where teachers can correct their pronunciation and also they can uh, correct structure in their presentations. After that, they can check with the rest of the group how much they remember from what they heard. They can play the game, they can compete and everything, and afterwards they can check again how much do students remember about this presentation. It would be a good memory exercise and a good memory practice. The second tool that I chose was fantastic. I think it is incredible. Students create stories, dialogues, that they record afterwards. I think that efficacy is good because it boosts imagination, improvisation, and also oral production, which is the objective of this course. The process can be done individually or it can become a class activity in which uh, a student can create the dialogue, then they rehearse, afterwards they prepare the material and they record. I think that all of these two tactics can be seen in group and that produces very good effectiveness. The third tool that I chose, it's a group, not only one, but a group of apps. I would say that all of these are the apps that were shown during the first three weeks. And they have listening material and they also have a recorder, which is a very good resource. They present vocabulary and pronunciation and correct structure that students can follow. Through conversations, they can listen to correct English that they can imitate. Such are uh, apps like Busu and Learn English Video and Audio.
All of these are very complete and they also have videos. They have levels from basic to advanced. They have different topics and you can record at the end of the practice. If you analyze, for example, learn English daily or talk English or learn to speak English through conversations, all of them are very similar. And all of them more or less can have the same efficacy depending on the student's commitment and the student's constancy. Also, effectiveness of this, uh, of this material depends a lot on how much do they repeat the classes, how much do they take advantage of the material. Another situation is that most of these apps continually are offering you to upgrade your membership to premium. And probably they don't offer the complete set of information from the beginning. So, it's a matter of using and reviewing this material in class. If you uh, send the students to work on a topic that they should have worked at home and then check it in the class, it might be a lot more efficient than if you leave them alone. My next choice is Read Aloud. It's a very versatile tool because teachers can too can choose whatever they want to upload, whatever they want to record. And students can repeat the recordings as many times as they need and then record themselves and check how much are they using and repeating and being able to repeat this information. Efficacy is high because it develops auditory memory. And besides that, Teacher, teachers can review these, these, these recordings with the students. A very good class activity would be to review these recordings, feedback, give feedback to the students, and give them tips in order to boost their advance. My last, but very, very favorite, Apps was Bucky. It's a tool to present information to, but you can type it or you can record it. If the students type the information, then Bucky can give you an intelligible pronunciation that can be used for exposure because the students can repeat it as many times as they need it. Besides that, you can choose different accents, which is incredible too, because students are able to listen and to be exposed to different accents in English. Efficacy is good because it in includes the four skills. So if you can practice all the skills with one apps, it's extraordinary. Class activity, I think that the information that they upload can be pre prepared individually or it can be prepared in a group. If they prepare it in a group and then they present the bookies, the rest of the students can use it as information. Then the rest of the group can describe what they saw, the content the bulky content. They can also analyze the bulkies and they can also compare them between them. And all of these are speaking activities. Thank you. Thank you very much.